Webflow has recently launched a new cool feature called ready made layouts. In this video, we're going to cover what they are, how to use it, should you even use them and what you should be worried about when you're using them. Let's rock and roll. Hey everybody, what is up and welcome to another Webflow video. And in this video, we're gonna cover the new ready-made layouts that have suddenly appeared here in the ad panel. So usually we only had elements and symbol. Now we have this layout panel. And in here, you can see some pretty familiar um, layouts that probably a lot of a lot of uh, websites are using in and they're pretty much very easy to use you're just dropping in something it's basically a section that already has a container and some elements in it and it's basically just a time saver because these elements such as you know hero sticky navigation um, they're being used and we sometimes you rebuild them over and over again whenever we are building websites so webflow just basically build this as a time saver for us to do it with the right structure because as I've mentioned and I do have a video about how you should structure your Webflow website I think a lot of people are struggling with how to build things how to structure them correctly and in here the fact that you already have a section in which you have a container in it you have the stuff in the in the layout really helps you to have kind of a consistent look so webflow pretty much helps you structure the website in the right way and this is really really cool and really really excited i was really um excited to see this however i have to say after playing it with uh, a, a little bit i'm a little bit not disappointed but there's some limitations here and to be super super honest I'm not sure I'm actually going to use this on real live websites and I'm going to share why. So first of all, as I've said, they do structure this correctly with the, the let's say a section in which there is a container to make sure that, you know, um, your, your actual content is limited um, and it's not becoming too wide. That's the, that's why we're using containers. However, Webflow are using their own container which usually you can find here and those container I don't know you can see here they're basically limited to 940 pixels and when you're using them in the Webflow's native containers you can't really change their size and for me this is pretty limiting and I don't like using Webflow's native containers just because of that because most of the website that I design and I feel like you know we're in 2020 nowadays most people on desktop are having larger screens and most website that I see I think most modern web design is at least 1100 pixels wide and so using this kind of a small container which is not adjustable for me this is kind of limiting so yeah it's true I can you know I can still use this and then bring in kind of my own div and style it and then move all the components but having to kind of adjust manually their ready-made components already kind of slows down my process and so I'm not really sure whether I'm going to use it or not I do think it is time saver for things like the footer here for example um, and and things like the um, the form for example these the where do you have it here the contact form this is pretty much a time saver because I've struggled not struggle but it does take you time to create kind of these two columns and bring in all the you know all the the labels and everything so this is T contact form and you know footer I think they're pretty much a time saver but there are things which are kind of weird like for example this sticky nav you know sticky nav is you know, it's very common however you know we already have kind of an element here that there is the basic navigation right the nav bar here which automatically on mobile turns the menu into an hamburger menu which is super super helpful because this is a very common interaction however here on this sticky navigation if you would go into mobile it's it's not turning this into a hamburger uh, menu and so you would have to do this manually which is a big hassle I mean and just you know if I wouldn't take this sticky navigation I would just take a normal navigation and put it here and just, just you know give it uh, like a style sticky and then make it instead of you know position I would just make it fixed and then to the top so now I have it's basically the same thing so now I have the sticky navigation and this turns into a hamburger menu so bam that's a very simple solution gives you an even better result so I'm not really sure why I would use this layout sticky nav um, 
the thing that really most excites me about this layout is I think that it is a beginning of where maybe you'll be able to save out your own layout. So right now, we kind of hack our own way of doing this, right? We usually create some kind of a page like a style guide and we create these common components that we use if we want to use them again and again in our website. But this is kind of a hack. And I think that this layout panel here might be kind of a, you know, uh, an introduction to a place where you can later on save your own layouts the way that you want them or maybe even kind of a marketplace where you can buy or find or search ready-made components and that is to me this is very exciting i'm really looking forward to see where webflow is going to take this layout panel in the future so again i think right now this is really really cool not sure that it's going to improve my workflow by like 10x but i i think this is a really uh, a very interesting step in a new direction where um webflow is trying to save time for you the the reason where I, why i say this you need to be careful with this is this you know when you start having too many ready-made components you're kind of like on the verge of maybe i'm starting to use this as a template kind of thing and this is where you know, the reason why I don't use other platforms like Wix, Squarespace and all the other places is where they are mostly template based and you can't really do custom work with them. And with Webflow, I can do whatever I want. But when Webflow makes it so easy for me to use template, I might be kind of like tempted to use the template and fall down into the kind of boring cliche components that everybody else is using instead of thinking and being creative around how to solve, you know, the design solution. So. I think trying to save time with components is really good. You have to still be cautious of not trying to just use it because it's in there, but is this the best solution? Is this the most creative solution? So that's why I usually, I don't do the design itself in Webflow. I usually do it in you know Sketch. Right now I'm experimenting with XD a little bit, but there you can be creative, right? Because you don't work off the template and then you just implement it with Webflow. And if this is what you want to implement and it saves you time, more power to you, um, but don't fall into the trap of using ready-made components everybody else is using, right? Um, just because it's there. So be careful when you're using them. But again, super excited to see where this is heading. Let me know what you think about the new layout panel in the comments below. Looking forward to seeing you on the next video.